What's up, people? It's a beautiful day in southern Mississippi. It's beautiful, sun, shiny outside. Hey, guys, today we're going to make you some Creole Pacific cod, man, over some beautiful, beautiful pasta. Hey, guys, check this video out. Give me a thumbs up at the end if you like it. Hey, I promise you this is going to be one of the best dishes you've ever eaten. First thing we're going to do, we're going to chop up these products. we got us some fresh corn, some garlic, some poblano pepper, some great tomatoes, and some green onions. And these are some of the other ingredients we're going to use to make our cream sauce. So we got all everything chopped up. Now we're going to dice up some cod fillets. Set this to the side. All right, so we're going to make our buttermilk biscuits, garlic buttermilk biscuits. And here I got two cups of flour, self rising flour. I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. All right, I got a pinch of salt in there already. Okay, I got a half a cup of cheese. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of granulated uh, garlic powder, about a quarter teaspoon of that, all right? And we got here, we got three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add that in there so I'm about to shake it. We're gonna go in about a quarter cup of sour cream. Then we're gonna go in with some, if I can do this with one hand, go in with some buttermilk. About a half a cup of buttermilk. We're gonna stir it up and we're gonna add some water to it just to get the right consistency. This is the consistency you're looking for. It's kind of loose, yet chunky. You know, it's not really a biscuit, more like a dinner roll. But I end up adding about a cup and a quarter of water to get it to this consistency, all right? Still sticky. We're gonna use a spoon to put this on the pan, all right? All right so here we go, we gotta put it in the pan. I just use a tablespoon, two tablespoons, and you know, made it relatively about the same size. We're gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees and pop them in there for 10 to 20 minutes. Just depending on your oven is set till they get nice and golden brown. So you've been cooking spaghetti and it hasn't been coming out like that, you know? It's been sticking together as it sits up. So this is the key to doing this. Some of you, this is, you already know this, but nevertheless, I'm gonna explain to you. When you cook pasta, you don't want to cook it till it's completely done. You want to cook it till it's well, oh, just slightly, slightly undercooked. You're going to run it over under cool water to get the cooking process stopped. You're going to run it some water real good, and then you put it in a strainer like this. And you spoil, spray, sprinkle just a little bit of oil on it, and you toss it. You see? And then your noodles won't stick together. You know what I mean? As they sit there, a lot of you getting sticky noodles because you're not cooling your pasta off after you cook it, okay? Quick little tip to make your dinner recipe come out just a little bit better. Now we're gonna pan sear our uh, uh, filet. I have some uh, wild caught tilapia here. You can use anything you want, you know. Wild caught is always better than farm raised. Some flour that we're gonna get good here, some salmon or some bass, sea bass. But all I got in there is a little olive oil, some season salt, black pepper, and a little garlic powder on that fish. We're gonna give it a nice golden brown sear on both sides. So now we got our fish flipped over. Nice golden brown texture. Time to move on to the sauce. Start on sauce. First thing we're gonna do is melt about three tablespoons of butter in our skillet. Over about medium high. Now we got our butter melted, we're gonna add our seasoning. That's our red onion, our sliced green onion, and our poblano pepper. We're not gonna add our uh our garlic just yet, okay? We'll get all that in there. Mix it around and let it toast for a little bit. It's two or three minutes. And then we'll add our garlic. See? It smells so good up in here, I'm telling you. So we're gonna let that go for a minute or two. We're gonna add our garlic. Add it in there. Then we're gonna go in with some tomato paste. About a good piece of them. I'm gonna go with that now so the rawness out of that, okay? Cook that down. Mix it in. Alright, so now we're gonna add our corn. Mix that up. Real good. Now we're gonna go in with our seasoning. I'm gonna use a little bit of seasoned salt. Alright. I love this stuff right here. This is Dash Chipotle. Not too much, because this gets a little spicy. And then the main ingredient we're going to get our flavor from is 
this is Old Bay, okay? We're gonna put a nice little heat from the Old Bay on there. We're gonna mix that in thoroughly. Right, so now we're gonna add our diced tomatoes. We're gonna go in with our whipping cream, our heavy cream. I'm sorry, half and half is what I'm using. We're gonna go in with about a cup and a half of that. We're gonna let that mix and cook down and get real thick. Right, so this is your secret ingredient right here. You don't need but a little bit of it. Just a couple little drips. That's all it takes. And that's gonna give it that nice Creole flavor. We're gonna keep cooking this down. If it's not getting thick enough for you, you can, can add some cornstarch. Just take some cornstarch and add it to a little bit of water. Just about a fourth of a teaspoon because you don't want this really, really thick. But I'm gonna show you how we're gonna thicken this up. We're gonna add us a nice scoop of mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna add us a nice handful of shredded mozzarella cheese. Just to thicken it up a little bit. And stir that in. Alright. So, here we go. We got pasta sauce. We're getting, get, we're getting there. But it's not quite the consistency that I want. So we got some starch, more starch, a little bit of water. Put that in there, bring it to the ball. Should get just what we're looking for. At this point, we got a nice little bubble going. Consistency is pretty close to where we want it. We're gonna add in our cod. We chopped up earlier. It's only gonna take a few minutes for that cod to cook to break down. Don't want to overcook the cod. We just want it to start breaking down and flaking up. It'll take about 10 minutes. And just let that simmer. And look at that, man. This is outstanding. A nice Creole pasta sauce is going to be great over our spaghetti. As always, going to check the salt and pepper at the end. I had a little salt and pepper. Look, you don't want to skip this step. It's going to brighten the dish up a little bit. Not much. All needs is just a little bit of acidity to break up all that creaminess. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna top it with a little grated Parmesan. Y'all ain't ready for this, I'm telling you. 